good morning and uh, yeah, happy Monday. Um, I'm back like I said I would be and I have just got up, I've just got dressed, it's just 5am, <sighs> really early but I am ready to go out the door, go downstairs, I've got a taxi pre-booked because that doesn't fit in the uh, the uh, shuttle bus that they have. Um, it's too much, so I've got myself a taxi pre-booked and I am heading to the airport. Mexico, here I come. and I won't lie it has been a horrible horrible day um, where to begin so I'll do a, a room tour tomorrow because I'm just not in the mood um, I got to the airport on time uh, way early and for the very first time since I've ever started traveling abroad so for the first time in 18 years I got charged for being overweight with my luggage. Um, that was £54 I had to pay out. Um, and at first I wasn't going to pay it, I was going to um, take stuff out of my bag and just not bother taking it with me and buy it again when I got through the other side, uh, through duty free. But then I figured I'd probably end up spending about £30-£40 get all the toiletries that I'll have just, just, just chucked away and I couldn't be bothered. So I just shut the case up, paid the £54, but in shutting the case up, I snapped my nail off. So that was that. Anyway, I wheeled myself through customs and got through, got to duty free. Um, bought one thing from MAC because the pennies were scarce, bought a pair of sunglasses because I only had a cheap pair with me, um, and what else did I do? Why did I go so oh, I'm sorry. It's like 25 to 8 Mexican time, but that is 25 to 1 UK time, and I got up at 4am UK time, so I'm 21 hours that I've been up and about for. So I am tired. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I got some breakfast. Um, I thought, I'll go and see if I can find a nail varnish that would match this, these nails. So therefore, um, even though I've got one short, it means I've still got the one that matches. Um, done that. And then I was just sitting by the gate waiting. And I realised my crutches were missing total panic stations, straight away, up went to special assistants to see if they'd been hiding in there, and I'm thinking I'm going to have to go back to the restaurant, I'm going to have to go back through the duty free, I'm going to have to go to the toilet that I went to, blah 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 blah, and the guy says, did you get pick them up at security, because when I got to security, you know, when they did the scanning and the, 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 the patting down and everything, they took my crutches off me because they get scanned separately to see if there's anything inside them, and I forgot to collect them, so a man kindly... Uh, one of the work, airport workers kindly run me round very quickly to uh, back to security, back through duty free, back to security, picked up the crutches, went back down, just getting ready to board, got on the flight and then realised that my sunglasses that I did have had smashed in my bag. <sighs> uh, 
So, needless to say, I had pretty much high enough, got on the flight and we were taking off and what have you, and everything was fine and what have you, but then I kept thinking about yeah, everything that had gone wrong that day, oh, that morning, everything that had gone wrong, and I was starting to get myself upset. So, watched a film, watched The Lion King, bad idea because uh, I nearly started crying watching The Lion King. And then uh, A Star Is Born, which again, really bad idea because I cried when I saw it at the cinema and I nearly started crying again. So anyway, I got up to go to the toilet, went to the toilet, had a little bit of a breakdown, I won't lie. Um, pulled myself together, come, went back, watched the uh, X-Man Apocalypse and then the X-Man Phoenix film. They were really good. And then from there, I watched... <gasps> several episodes of Big Bang Theory and we landed so that's fine we landed meanwhile all of the sort of having to wheel myself around has gave me a blister I don't know if you can see that right there Ugh. so that's hurting I've got another one on this hand but it's not as big um, that's just from wheeling on the wheelchair. Anyway, uh, we're it's to the end to get taken off the plane as I always do because I have the assistance. And when I got to my wheelchair, I uh, got through passport control and everything and to my wheelchair. I was like, oh, that's my wheelchair there. So the man pushes me to it and there's a man standing beside it going, um, was this not fit beforehand? Can you see that? This is meant to go there and it has been ripped off. And this goes there. Um, it was also ripped off. I, what they've done with it, I don't know because they've really bashed it up. But that can go back on, that's fine. I just need to reverse that because it's currently on the wrong side but yeah my wheelchair is broken so then waiting for my luggage and it come it was the last two pieces of luggage that came i was the last person at the carousel and i was panicking thinking oh my god what else could go wrong but i got my luggage got onto the coach, we had to wait an hour for people to come to get on the coach and they still didn't get on the coach. An hour and a half drive, I've covered in oil of something, I don't know what, and I've just got to my room now and this hotel is humongous. I don't know how I'm gonna get around with it. But that's gonna be tomorrow's problem. All I want to do tonight, it's like I said, it's only 20 to eight. All I wanna do, is get unpacked, go to bed, have a couple of hours before I go to sleep, take a sleeping tablet, fall asleep, go to sleep, sleep the whole night through, wake up in the morning, hopefully not have any jet lag. So, <sighs> it has been a rotten day's travel, probably the worst one I've had since I've been travelling on my own. In fact, actually, it's probably the worst one I've had since I've been travelling, so I'm going to unpack, get to bed, so... But the only good news I got was that the, the Wi-Fi, I'd read online it was only one hour free Wi-Fi in the lobby per day. And then just at the last week, they started having the, the, the Wi-Fi free throughout the hotel. So at least I've got Wi-Fi. But anyway, I'm going to go. So I will do a tour of the room tomorrow. Right now, I just want to crash. The next day. So good morning, um, welcome to day two of my holiday. Um, you can't really see much because I've got the blinds shut. So I'm gonna open the blinds and then I will show you around my room before I head out. So go and find some breakfast in this absolute monstrosity that is the hotel. It is huge, please ignore the hair, it is in need of washing but I don't see the point washing it right now because I am going to be probably going to be going into the swimming pool later so 
But anyway, the room. It is a mess because oh, I've been in it for more than 30 seconds. So, but here it is. So, I have a little living room area which has the little terrace. Um, then I go into the TV. Um, in the little cupboard there is a mini fridge which um, I've put a note on it. Uh, bed, I've got two double beds but I'm just sleeping in this one because I can only get out of bed at this side. I can't roll onto that other side to get out so I'm in this bed only. Uh, a couple of side tables, pictures of my granddad's, my granddad and my granddad. They go everywhere with me, as does Pooh Bear in the middle there. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I put a note on the mini fridge, which sounds strange, but I only want Coca-Cola light. I don't drink the full-edged stuff. I don't drink Fanta. Um, and it put one can of Diet Coke in it. So I asked that they only put Diet Coke in it. Bottle of water, coffee machine, don't know how to use it. Um, cups, teas, coffee, and I don't know, that's some sort of filter, I think. Like I said, don't know how to use it. Little tub for the ice. Suitcase all unpacked and under there. And into the bathroom. Jacuzzi bath, very nice. Won't be using it because I cannot have a bath without my bath stool because I can't get out of it. So there we have shower, uh, sink area, my toilet is all there, uh, and then the toilet itself with a hairdryer in the middle, and me. Hello. Um, and then in here is cupboards. Which the most thing to have hanging up is my fancy frocks. For uh, night time, safe. In there is things like my uh, passport, money, travel tickets, medication. And then in this side, which I'm not using because I've only got the fancy frocks, is an ironing board, an iron, and an umbrella. Hmm. So, yeah, so that is the room. So like I said, it's a huge hotel and really it's a fairly big hotel room to, to, to match it so, but it will do, it will be home for the next two weeks. The only downside is the only plug on this side of the room is at this bed there, but thankfully I brought my three metre cables so I can at least get my phone plugged in and charged up while I'm lying in bed. Um, and the reason I need to do that is because I am still obsessed with the game I was obsessed with um, a few last time I'd actually vlogged, which is probably the reason why I haven't vlogged so much. But yeah, I am obsessed with my game and I'm obsessed with the people who play the game with me. So yeah, now I'm going to go and try and figure out how to get breakfast. So it doesn't actually look like I've actually been anywhere because the last time I spoke to you I was still in this room and I am in the room again. But I have been and had breakfast, I have been and found the swimming pools and I have been to my welcome meeting and booked my three trips that I'm going to do which I will say more about later. Um, and it also turns out that actually I'm in a pretty good location um, as regards to everything. So I'm going to show you literally the walk is from here to the two pools. Um, so bear with me because it will get bumpy because I am walking with crutches um, and to the reception which again it's so close so such a relief for my part and then I'm going to nip to reception pay for my excursions and then I'm going to go and start getting bronze so anyway I'll take you on the walk to show you where the pool is first pool is just there Second pool is just there. And reception. Oh, 
That is the reception up there. That is the second floor there. And then these are little things that get us around. So actually, it's a really good location. So as you can probably tell, sorry, it's such terrible lighting in this room. I'm actually gonna go in the bathroom, which has got better lighting. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. So it is um, night time now. It is night time now, and I came in from the sun around about 3 p.m., which seemed quite early, but um, it was the first day, and I didn't want to overdo it. So I got a little bit of redness here, a little bit of redness here, a little bit on my tummy. Apart from that, I'm okay. So I'm pleased I came in when I did. Um, but yeah, ready for my first evening meal and to see what entertainment this hotel has got to offer. Um, hopefully better than last year's. Um, speaking of which, this dress, um, I'll turn it around actually. So this dress, it's the first time I've had this dress on in a year. And let me tell you, it was hard getting it on. I have put on so much weight that I've literally got no room to sort of move. My, my boobs are kind of like wedged in, uh, even though it's elasticated back. It is pretty much stretched fully, which I was not expecting. Um, so I don't know how my other dresses are going to be, which is a concern, um, because two of them I don't think I'm going to get on at all. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But for now, I've got this dress on and I'm going to go get some food. Later that same evening. Oh, there's such bad lighting in this room. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. I've got a story. No, it's not really an interesting story, but I am back in the room. I had my dinner. It was beautiful. I found a place in the restaurant called Healthy Corner. And in it they had some uh, chicken breasts that I think was sort of cooked in white wine and it was beautifully moist it was just shredded away um, so I had some of that with some iceberg lettuce tomato and um, some grated carrots and a sauce and some broccoli so super boring but super tasty and filling and hopefully slimming because I do need to lose a lot of weight and I'm going in and out of focus so badly because yeah, anyway, um, one thing that has happened today a few times is I keep getting cramp in my good leg, in my good calf. Um, the muscle just keeps twinging and getting rock hard as cramp is, as people I'm sure know. Well, it happened at dinner and I jerked in such a way, actually, it's hurt my back a little bit. So rather than stay out and see what the entertainment's like, I have made the choice to come back to the room and get myself propped up on some pillows and try and sort of not move and hope that come morning it'll have untweaked itself. Um, as for the morning, um, today I tried the busy poo, the, the, the not... Today I tried the noisy poo, um, which is where they have the sort of the games and things like that wasn't that struck by it so tomorrow I'm going to try the quiet pool which is actually closer to my room and for a change of pace usually on holiday I get up really early go put my towels out get some bed then go get breakfast then go back to the sun bed well in order to pass in order to get to the quiet pool from the buffet I've got to pass my room literally right like right next to it I've got to pass my room so I'll get up I'll go get breakfast I'll come back pick up my towels go to my bed and that'll be me for the day so and I need to work since this one's already red as is the ear um, and the neck tomorrow I need to work on getting this side red because at the minute it looks stupid my, my neck's like yin and yang so I need to get that sorted out and um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be just as nice a day and I'll stay out in the sun longer, I will read more of my book, uh, maybe meet some people, but for now I am going to go to bed. 
Um, so next time we next time you see me, which should be on day three.